Hey, hey, so this message comes as a reminder or a, um, a suggestion to you from spirit uh, saying, set them free, yeah, but don't let them go. Set them free, but don't let them go because there will be a time of redemption, uh, meaning they're going to have to come back and make things right. Um, I see people around you that uh, make it difficult for you to be you. That's the best way to say it. It feels like it's, it, they make it difficult for you to shine your brightest because whether it's due to their glaring looks, they're acting like they don't understand what you're saying, or um, their behavior. My dog is snoring under the desk, by the way. That's what you hear. Maybe they snooze when you try to, you know, do, be you. They act like they're, you know, there's a million other things they can do. Maybe somebody acts like they're bored around you. It doesn't matter. What It doesn't, whatever it is. Um, spirit is saying, let, set them free, yes, because you, you need to protect your energy and your aura, honor your body as a temple, um, and also your presence heals those are, that are around you. So when you're around low vibrational people, it um, drains you. Yes, you are strong. Yes, you are a warrior. But um, this, this situation or these people that I'm talking about, it's, you know, you don't, this, this battle, you don't have to fight. This, though you are brave and you are courageous, God is saying you can take a knee on this one. You can take a bow. Set them free, but don't let them go because there is a plan already in motion. There is justice. There is redemption coming that um, the same folks that tried to bury you will have to um, dig you back up. I don't know. They, they're going to have to dig themselves out. Of, of whatever they've you know uh, added to that to their lives by way of karma karmic uh, situations but um, when they dig themselves out um, when, one of the first people they're going to be looking for um, is going to be you to, to make amends so leave the door open but yes to your answer some of you have asked the question like can I just let this go can I just leave this like is it okay for me to just not you know, and, and God is saying, yeah, set them free, but don't let them go. Um, this is about control issues. That's what it's always been about. It's been about controlling you, um, ego, you know, different things, pride, all kinds of things. It's been going on for some of you one or two years, so that'll help you narrow it down. Because some of you are like, who, which ones, where do I start? But, you know, this has been really um, getting getting to you for the last one to two years. All right, on this pathway. Some of y'all might live down a country road or you're from a very rural town, all right, where, where everybody knows everybody. So that, that might be a lot of what that's going on. Some of you, it's a mother. It's a mother that you're like, set them free, but don't let them go. You got just got to, you know. Um, as for some of you also, it might be, you know, it's a cause of concern. Like there's guilt, there's, there's a mother wound, there's mother issues. But um, it, it's very clear. Like the ones of you who I'm talking to, it's very clear that, this needs a this needs some space. This needs a break. All right. Yeah. See that the bad health card. It's too stressful. It's too. It's it's making you sick. It's getting in your nerves. It's weighing you down. And these are one of the things that you're going to clear up. Those of you who are on a twin flame journey, if you if you are, keep hearing that, you know, you got to heal childhood things and, and 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 your inner child needs to heal and play and stuff like that. That is what this is. It could be connected to a mother wound or a father wound, or you know, it's this, this controlling group um, that that you just you just you have to fight to be yourself. It's just it doesn't feel natural, and so that's another indication for those of you who are listening and you're like still on the fence. It it just it it's like a fight or a war for you to be your natural self around this pe these people. So there you go. Um, yeah, so because you act as the mediator, that's another thing. It's almost like um, they, you're the one they love to hate because when it comes to common sense or being balanced, you know, you you are the mediator, you're the adjudicator. You you um, bring the parties together and say, okay, what's going on? You settle family disputes and family feuds and sibling rivalry and things like that. You bring, you're the peacemaker, okay? And so that's another reason why you, it's like you're targeted, so... But Spirit is saying, again, set them free, but don't let them go. If this is a love relationship, give me one for love, please. Love relationship, yeah. Please, set them free. But the coffin card, that's an ending. Number 19, which is a 10, that's an ending. Nines are also about endings, but also ones are speak of new beginnings. So if you set them free, um, but don't let them go, meaning leave the door open for them, there will be redemption. Because that's what I'm saying. This is not a doom and gloom message. The group that I'm talking to, if you actually 
set them free and let you know let them do what they do let them just let just let go of your control like i wish they would act like this or they would feel much happier if they if they did this like all of that just put it in your nice little bag and pack it away and take it take it back to where it's appreciated because i'm saying you're around you're you're in a space where you're not really appreciated and god is like trying to do new things in your life trying to bring you around your soul tribe and 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 trying to um get you to feel a lot better and more confident in your gifts and your purpose and your calling okay but these same people like i said are going to come back to you you know for redemption some of you you live with these people so of course you ain't going too far you know you some of you you have you live in a home together so um some of you you are in relationship with this is a romantic relationship like i said but it's time for you to if you love something let it go it comes back to you you know the saying it's yours if it doesn't it never was and that's these people they they will come back because they were always yours to love and they were yours to keep and because some of you this is your family but it's like it's time for you to give it give it some space and um and then watch watch the uh the new beginning you know coming back changed people all right all right so i hope this message helps you um give, give you a little clarity give you some peace until we meet again guys thanks for watching and take care of yourselves and each other